So many of us have been talking about reparations and definitely making a push for that. And this conversation of reparations has been making a lot of people nervous. They've been making a few people upset because how dare black Americans say that you're going to pay what you owe and we're not letting off of that. We have in black Americans saying that we are, are definitely our own distinct group in this nation. And it's definitely a truth to that. Just like all these other groups that come in, they are distinct groups. They have their flags and their traditions and cultures. And I have no issue with that. But when black Americans start saying that we are our own distinct group, there are people that just don't like that. There are people that say, well, that's kind of divisive to say that it's not divisive because we have our own history. We have our own uh, culture lineage. We have certain foods that we eat. So yes, we are all distinct people and we are never going to throw that away for no one. Well, as people are having all this conversation about reparations, you know, you have those who are white supremacists that will say that, well, you wasn't a slave. Why should we pay anything? This is the same old, same old they have, but you know, native Americans get their reparations and you know, Jewish people in America got reparations as well. Even when Obama left office, he gave him some more money. Um, you know, they had a Japanese got reparations. So all these different people got cash payments, um, as a reparation when it comes to those who built the country and worked for free at the same time doing that. Those who worked in convict leasing, building the country again, sharecropping, uh, do all the things we suffered during Jim Crow, the terrorism that we suffered in this land. And we have been compensated not one day and one dime. We have a right to keep talking about it. Now, case in point, we have a culture vulture that I've been having a problem with for a very, very long time because this culture vulture is literally asking questions like he's a, a federal agent. He police this DJ Vlad character. I've always wondered why you have all these black rappers going to this particular character to do interviews. And there's plenty of other black people that have those same kind of platforms, but yet they keep going to him and he asks incriminating questions. He starts beefs. He do all kinds of things for clicks and views on his page. And yet black folks keep going over there, sitting down, talking with him. And when I, I heard about an interview that he conducted with this rapper, A R A B. And then after that, the cat gets arrested off of something he said in an interview. Now, if he actually cared about those young brothers, he wouldn't be posting things they're saying that would incriminate them. He would just post the other parts or whatever that he has, but he don't care where well, he's comfortable. He feel that he could speak on black folks and black issues. So he decided to open his mouth on Twitter about our issues of reparations. Go ahead, put that up. So he clearly says, I fully support reparations for African Americans, possibly in the form of free college education. First of all, we didn't ask him for his opinion about what's owed to us. We didn't ask him. Why is he interjecting himself into what we got going on first and foremost? Second of all, what are free college education is going to do? And who are you to determine what we should be paid for our suffering and pain? What we went through and what we owed is in the trillions. That's first and foremost. Now, Mr. Culture Vulture, when Rick Ross and them touched you up that time for running off at your mouth, when you went to court, did you ask them for free college education if you win your case? Which one was it? Because last time we checked, you went after the money. You didn't ask for a free college education. So why is it that black folks should get a free college education? Okay, let's go with that. College education is a reparation. Oh, okay. That means Bernie Sanders has given a reparation to white people too, because he wants free college education for everybody. Elizabeth Warren talking about free college education for everybody. They're saying the same thing. So basically what you want us to do is say, oh, let's support Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren because they're actually giving us a reparation. Are you serious? Okay. All you black people get a college education and then what? They're not going to be hired. They, I just saw a story. You have a black woman with a master's degree in social work and she's homeless 
in uh, I think Charlotte. I think it's Charlotte, North Carolina. And she has a master's degree. What that what, what is that college degree going to do? What is it going to do? In this day and time, college degrees is actually becoming more and more obsolete. You have to be extremely strategic on a college degree that you obtain. You got to obtain a college degree that you know you're going to have a job with, like something like nursing or, you know, you being a doctor or some that effect, like, you know, you're going to have a job. If you don't have a, a, a degree in those things, and then who say you're going to get a job? But then people start going in on him. They say, hey, wait a minute. Who are you to be speaking on our situation for one? They say, second, a college education ain't gonna do crap for us with our reparations. We want money like everybody else gets money. When it comes to his people, because he he's from Russia and he also part of, you know, God's chosen, allegedly chosen people, Germany still pays reparations to them. Money. So it's okay for, for his people to get money, but it's not okay for my people to get money. It's not okay for you to get money. When you owe that, he comes into our culture, the culture that we built, the culture that we maintain. He makes his whole platform off of our culture. And then he has the nerve to try to tell us that it possibly should be a free college education. See, we got to start talking about this now. All these people in our culture, you know, there's no other group allowed that to go on. Other groups don't let all these people just come into their culture and start acting like they dictating. If you come into their culture, you are a guest and you stay in your place as a guest. But we are the only ones that allow everybody to come in, benefit. He's benefiting more of our culture than a lot of other black people that's doing the same thing of benefiting. Are you paying attention to that? Entertainment is a lane. Entertainment is a lot of money. Sports is a lot of money. And I've said this, we talking about, we are our own distinct group. Well, we need to start being distinct on monetizing and uh, capitalizing off our own gifts and talents and culture. You look at sports, ESPN wouldn't even be running. It wouldn't be for black people in sports. Let's call it what it is. A lot of times they always talk about NBA, NFA, all the things that we always doing. Let's call it what it is. Our talent is fueling billions upon billions of dollars. What I'm saying is they come into our culture, all these different groups, then they don't respect us at the same time. They don't respect us at all. They think they can just talk to us any kind of way. They can come in and be culture vultures and see what I don't like about that. They come into our culture, want to say, oh yeah, want to be uh, hanging out with the black folks, but he, you still got your white privilege. You still got that. You, you, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, see, we have to start saying, okay, it's time to clean house. And what I mean by clean house is take back everything that's ours. You were talking about black Americans and what we're doing. No, it needs to be a, a, a complete fundamental change in black America. Not just saying we got a lineage, not just saying we got a distinct people, but we got a distinct culture. We have a distinct everything with that. And we need to control it. We need to monetize it. We, the ones need to be the captains of the ship when it comes to anything related to us. And if you're not going to act right, you need to go. And I saw a lot of people saying like, forget him. They say they were just going in on him. And then one particular black woman told him and said, Hey, look, you kind of just overstepped your bounds with this one. You probably want to delete this tweet. He will say, I said what I said. I'm not deleting anything. So he got indignant about it. And even more disrespectful when a black woman told him, Hey, you probably want to delete this. You kind of overstepping your bounds. No, he feel like he said what he said. I don't care about you black people. I don't care about your suffering, your pain, or what you're going through, or what you're fighting for. I don't care. I said it, and, and I'm in your culture as a white man in your culture, a Russian white man in your culture, and there's nothing you're going to do about it. And he was going back and forth with black people about our situation. Why don't you talk about what's going on in Russia, dude? Why don't you interview Russians? Do that. Go sit down and talk to Putin or something. Why are you trying to talk to rappers for? 
And you young brothers, y'all going over there talking with this dude and, and, and spilling your guts to this dude about activities that could be illegal that some of you are doing. Why are you doing that? I mean, this dude has proved more than once, like him and Takashi 6 ix 9 I'll talk about Takashi another time too. Like the old police type dudes, man. You can't trust them dudes, man. See, one point in time in the 80s and 90s, that wouldn't have fly at all. No. We didn't trust certain people like that. But man, this dude here, man, like I said, these, these culture votes, they, they can say anything they want to say. But part of it is our fault. It's our fault because we don't check people. And then when black people are doing entertainment or whatever, we complain about them. For instance, people be saying, oh, what well, Tasha K is this and Lovely T is that. Man, let them do their thing. That's entertainment. Y'all watch it. Let them do it. I'd rather those rappers go talk to Tasha K or Lovely T. They go and talk to him. That's how I feel about that. They're black women. I don't care if they got a, whatever brother. There's another brother. Was it Say Cheese do it as well? Go talk to Say Cheese. I mean, go talk to somebody. In, in our community, or some more brothers step up. That's go. That's gonna do the same thing. But we can't just complain on him, and then they don't have no place to interview at. Now I got some ideas coming down the pipe with that too. Cause I've been saying that. Nah, we got We got to get involved with that. It may not be me personally, but I want to be a part of something with to take that industry back because that belongs to black people. Seriously. And you do any interview with any person I may have set up to do something like that. You, we're not going to post you incriminating yourself in crimes. No, we're not going to do that. First, we'll say, ah, we don't want to no, Nope, Let's stop that right there. I don't want to know nothing about it. We don't want to hear about it. Nope. Don't say that here. I'll even tell you ahead of time. Don't incriminate yourself in no crimes. You know, just tell your story, whatever you're going to say, but just don't discuss crime here. Not like that because I don't want to be asked about nothing you said, and I don't even want to cut it out. That's when you care about a brother. You don't want him jammed up or a sister. But these culture vultures, yeah, they want you to tell it on yourself so you can get charges. But yeah, this 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 Vlad dude, man, like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't watch that dude. I don't watch him because of that reason. I don't like to see black men sitting up there being asked some more police style questions. And then he sits up there if, if a black person want to even take their own videos and post it, they, they file claims on it on videos that they interview, man, I would never put, put no claim on somebody for if you interview with me. I mean, you was interviewing with me, put it on your page. Why not? I mean, just some old sucker moves that they pull, but this, this, but it, it's good though. It's good because people exposing themselves every day and it's good because I'm glad the brothers and sisters are checking this dude. I'm glad. I am so glad. And now our brothers and sisters step up in that lane and take it and snatch that. It's, it's cause this time it, it's, if he can't respect black people, then he don't need to be fooling black people. He don't. Now, some people may mention about his woman or whatever. I don't care about his woman being black. I don't care. Obviously she didn't, she didn't put no bug in his ear to stay, stay in his lane. Obviously that he think he's so, uh, in a position to be talking about reparations for black people and please he need to go on somewhere with that. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the situation with this culture vulture, but you know, it's time for us, the black folks that I stated before, step up, step in that lane, start interviewing people in the music industry, start interviewing entertainers, interview people that you can get access to start doing that because we can't just complain about what he's doing. We have to say, you know what? It's time for us to take our industry back and, and hip hop is our industry. We created it. We're the authors of it. We maintain it. So surely we should monetize it and own every bit of it.